welcome aboard the Lamborghini Huracan Sterrato. Not quite the conventional super sports car, but a different and unexpected one. And I think this kind of car deserves that we too try something different today to find out everything there is to know about this fantastic car. Let's go. You feel like you are on the rally stage. Can you hear this? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Stefan Winkelmann, our chairman and CEO. Thank you for your time this morning. You're welcome. Speaking about time, what is this moment in time for Lamborghini? We are in the best shape ever in Lamborghini. We exited 2022 with a record year. This year is very important, the year 2023, because we are celebrating our 60th anniversary. And again, at the end of the first quarter, we had an amazing result. In terms of deliveries to customer, 2,623. In terms of turnover, 728 million. And also again, in terms of operating profit, of 260 million. It's raining. This was anyway just a meeting point. Why don't we get into the cars? We keep talking there via the phone and we drive up to San Luca, which you can see from here. When we talk about the Lamborghini brand values, would you say that the Huracan Serrato ideally represents those? Yes, very much, because the, the Lamborghini brand stands for a brave, authentic and unexpected. And uh, a car like this, a car like the Lamborghini Huracan Serrato, only Lamborghini could have been doing, because it's a car which is both a super sports car with all the elements which you need, a wonderful design, outstanding performance, but also something which uh, usually you don't do with a super sports car. I was wondering, you as a CEO, how much of your decisions has been taken behind a desk or in a meeting room? And how important is it for you to as well be behind the steering wheel and to have this emotional component? If you don't experience the car and if you don't know how they behave and how they drive in comparison also with other cars from other manufacturers, you will never get it done uh, right. So how often have you had the chance to, to test it in the development phase and where exactly? I would uh, love to do much more testing, but uh, time is uh, to the utmost importance. Uh, but we are doing it at least once a quarter, mainly in southern Italy, in Puglia, in Nardò, but also in Emilia, uh, right outside uh, uh, the gates of our headquarters in uh, Sant'Agata Bologna. Speaking about Nardò, I would actually love to witness that myself. So I think I'm going to head off to Puglia now. Thank you, Mr. Winkelmann, for your time. See you later. So now we finally arrived here in Nardò. Not by chance that we're here, because in Nardò is where the Sterrato was born as an idea, as a concept. And these two gentlemen that are here with me today, they were part of this inner circle that had the idea. And I'm talking about Ruven Moore, our chief technical officer, Mitya Borkart, our head of design. Ruven, Mitya, tell me a little bit, how was the Sterrato born? How was this crazy, amazing idea born? At the beginning, when this project was started, I was already the first time in Lamborghini. At this time, I was responsible for the whole vehicle development. And I remember when we, when we tested the Uros, because we were close to the Uros launch, we did this kind of off-road, let me say, experience in, in rally style and this we were so excited by this experience that during the dinner I remember Mitya you remember hopefully also how let me say how we were fascinating and we were starting to dream a little bit. Yeah, Tim, I mean for me being a designer and being here on the place where we the idea was born it's like a time lapse for us. I remember Ruven, no? we were so excited uh, talking about it in the evening I called immediately in the night I called my guys so the next day I said uh, we, we need to start sketching yeah? so, and we brought here uh, also uh, the first uh, third scale idea no? that we created at the time. Then I was seeing um, an old Huracan durability car. The lifetime of this car was over and I said okay why we don't take this car 
together with, with the colleagues of the chassis department, of the engine department, and we built up really a kind of technical demonstrator to check how much fun this car generates. It was a completely different level. I never experienced something like this, and then everybody was in love with the car. Ruben, I actually want to also experience this level of fun, so if you don't mind, why don't you take me for a, for a spin in the car and we keep talking a little bit. And then afterwards, I would even like to see if our designer, if Mitya, if he's only able to sketch or if he can also yeah, drive. Let's That's see. a good idea. Let's, no, see. let's okay. see. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> What are the main characteristics that make this car so fun in your opinion? The main characteristic is the combination of a typical super sports car feeling, the sitting position and also the sound, the reactiveness of our fantastic V10 natural aspirated engine combined with the easiness to drive, easiness to drift that was never able in another car before. I love to drive, I love to drive the Cerato. Uh, I love to be in Lamborghini because of what is cool and I think it's quite unique that as a designer you are part of the, the, of the team that is testing driving the cars and I love to be in the car to also then feel if we have all the steering wheel, all the seat position, everything in place. We want to have a car that is generating the smile. To drive it after we were dreaming it, it's fantastic. It's impossible to stop. We have a top speed of 260 kph, we have a 0 to 100 in 3.4 and a 0 to 200 in 9.8 seconds. And we have a natural aspirated V10 engine with 610 CV power output. This is incredible, it's really an incredible fast car. It's generating even more emotions. We want to give this feel like a pilot feeling and the Serato is giving this feeling to you. So it's about, first of all, Feel like a pilot means a, a super deep integrated seat position the interior is embracing you then um, we have all the buttons everything in place yeah so also when i drive fast and i'm focusing on the track i need to be able to uh, switch all the functions you love drifting don't you i love it because because it, it's even relaxing to be honest if you go sideways and you have really the feeling that you can control the car by the way, this fantastic car is helping you a lot, so I'm pretty sure that even Meteor can drift with the car. I think Owen was just teasing when he said that you that you cannot drift. Uh, he said even Meteor can drift this <laughs> But I feel always like, I don't know, I feel like a child driving and drifting the Sterato because, because it's so much fun. It makes you feel like a rally driver and this is what's fascinating me. We introduced the new rally driving mode. This is a perfect driving mode for low grip surfaces like gravel, like we drive today, so in really rally stage condition or on, on ice and snow conditions. We modified even the torque distribution and also let me say the torque vectoring by brakes or so the brake intervention and also the ESC calibration that allows you really to position the car better. You drift the car easy around the corner. I mean it's really like, I mean everyone can do this. How did the dimensions uh, change of the car? I mean, basically, we have elevated the car by 44 millimeters. We have increased the rear travel on the front axle by 25%, on the rear axle by 35%. We have a wider track width, 30 millimeters on the front, 34 millimeters on the rear. That gives you also a little bit better possibility to play with the dynamical road load differences and this helps you also to improve compared with the setup the traction of the car. How important are the tires for such a car? But for every car the tires are very very important especially if you speak about the let me say the requirements to these tires because here we have a requirement that the car is still a very fast car so the top speed of 260 kph 
And on the other end, if we wanted to have a tire that is in all terrain conditions, also very precise and generates a lot of traction. For instance, if you look at the steering impulse, it's really incredible, even in this kind of conditions, how fast the car is reacting to the steering input. And this is based on the fantastic job that Bridgestone, together with our team, did on the development of this specific tire that, by the way, is also run for the tire. You see, I am in love. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ruben. It was a fantastic drive. You're welcome. Peter, yeah, I know you enjoy driving. I enjoy driving with you as well. <laughs> I, but I hope you're not getting sick. <laughs> no, 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 it's fun, it's fun. But in order to talk about design, I think we have to get out of the car as well and you show me a little bit uh, what the Serato is all about. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, one detail that I really like when the cars always stopped, you know, our beautiful wheels and then all the sand is falling down. So we have the silhouette of Lamborghini, uh, all of this, but we've put it in a higher position and it works perfectly. We have added the cladding, so we have a wider track and uh, those muscles are really giving the, the punch to the design of the car. With the high mounted exhaust pipes, it's more lightweight than the rugged look uh, of the engine bonnet that is going well together with the air scoop the V10 uh, logo of the engine and then the protective part. What did you have to do with the engineering colleagues to get especially the cooling uh, with all the sand, etc.? What was there the challenge? It was for all of us a new field no, to take a super sports car on such a condition. So of course we were testing the car going sideways all together. And uh, so we found out that we need to have a complete different cooling concept. So that was really fun to then to create the air scoop, functional air scoop, that is then here dividing uh, with the channels, uh, the fresh air providing it to the engine. There's this new front, uh, so with our rally cross uh, lights that I really like. Um, then, uh, as you have seen, uh, you know, driving it fast on such a track, you need a better ramp angle, but uh, we lifted it up in a way that we still have our shark nose. Media. Congratulations, wonderful car. Thank you so much. We are very confident about it. Oh, thanks for the walk around. <laughs> and Ruben is still having fun. Yeah. Want to catch up, Mitya? Let's go and catch him. Let's go and catch him.